I am John Wenger, I'm from the Centre for Research into Atmospheric Chemistry at UCC. We are currently performing a EPA funded research project called SAFIRE, which is aimed at finding the sources of particles in the atmosphere. Uh, atmospheric particles, smaller than 10 microns, are actually invisible to the human eye, but they can be breathed into the lungs and they can cause significant health effects. They can aggravate asthma and cause other respiratory problems. In fact, the World Health Organization has estimated that the average life expectancy of, of a person in Europe is reduced by nine months following exposure to air pollution. And there are many organizations across the country, like the Asthma Society for Ireland, that are advocating uh, measures to be put in place to reduce particle emissions. In order to reduce particle emissions, we need to identify their sources. How can we do this? Well, we rely on the fact that particles from different sources contain different chemicals. So, for example, sea spray particles contain sodium chloride. Wood burning particles contain potassium and carbon. The goal of the SAFIRE project is to deploy these instruments at specially selected locations around Ireland so we can identify the particles, look at the chemical composition and then uh, assign them to sources. Particles come from a variety of sources, they can be natural, they can be man-made sources. So for example, natural sources include uh, sea salt, sea spray, volcanoes even, um, but man-made sources are typically things like vehicle exhausts, wood burning, coal burning, etc. Uh, we want to go to representative locations that um, potentially have uh, air quality issues. So for example, uh, large cities might have issues with uh, vehicle, vehicle exhaust emissions. So, um, and small towns might have problems with, with fuel burning, especially during winter months. So we would uh, try to select locations where we could have contrast in environments where we could get interesting results that, that really could be used to, uh, to help identify sources that could feed into future policy decisions down the line. This research project is funded by the Irish EPA and, and uh, they're, they're, they're charged with the responsibility of overseeing environmental research in Ireland. Air quality falls under their remit and so they're very interested in identifying sources of particles. Any information that we find uh, could be presented in, a, in, in policy briefs, for example, to the Department of the Environment. And so there is a relevance for the Department of Environment too. Um, local authorities that uh, have responsibility for making air quality measurements, they're also interested in what we do, as well as many organisations around the country that might be interested in human health. For example, the Asthma Society of Ireland are, are very interested in, um, in, in bringing forward measures that could reduce air pollution and therefore that would uh, reduce the burden on asthma sufferers. We are currently here in Enniscorthy, County Wexford. It's a town that is not in the smoky coal band zone, so there is high instance of solid fuel burning, there's no natural gas, and the topography of the area is interesting because it's set in the valley, uh, so that there's little dispersion of pollutants. So this is a small town where there's solid fuel burning and with air pollution problems, so it's a perfect, case for, for perfect uh, place for us to come and visit. We've already measured significant amounts of particles that are from coal and wood burning, so we can already tell um, that coal and wood burning are major sources of pollution in Enniscorthy. What we need to do is, when we finish up the campaign, is we take all the data, we spend months analysing the data. We will also do some offline chemical analysis to look at filters that we've collected. All this data will help us in a, a source apportionment modelling exercise, which will uh, be used to quantify the individual sources. Uh, and so this is the scientifically robust method for, for, for doing that, for identifying and quantifying the sources. Poor air quality is a worldwide problem. Uh, in Europe, um, the main sources of air pollution for particles are really traffic and, and fuel burning. And fuel burning is on the increase. It's become more fashionable to burn wood at home, um, especially on mainland Europe uh, and, in, and in the UK also, uh, and, and in Ireland. So uh, there are uh, regularly measurements taking place all the different countries, not just researchers but also agencies, national environment agencies will be making these measurements in cities and in towns to answer questions like what we're trying to do. How much pollution comes from cars, how much pollution comes from fuel burning. The Department of Chemistry at UCC has uh, a range of research activities. Our particular area in the crack lab is, the, uh, is, is, is atmospheric chemistry. We perform field and laboratory measurements uh, of atmospheric processes. In the field, we measure composition of particles. We look at biological particles, chemical particles. So issues related to air quality, issues related to pollen. Um, we also do some work in the lab where we use simulation chambers to study 
chemical processes that give rise to pollution, like smog. And so we have a range of programs that are funded by Science Foundation Ireland, the EPA, European Commission, to tackle a whole range of problems. We do some fundamental studies and we also do some very applied work, for example the field work of the Sapphire Project. 